Hello, in this lecture we're going to continue on the master budget and we will continue to the next piece being the budgeted costs of goods manufactured. So let's take a quick recap of where we have been so far. Once again, we had to start off and we do have to do these in order with the sales budget, then the production budget, then the raw materials budget, the direct materials budget, the factory overhead budget, the selling budget, general administrative cash type accounts so that we could then make the cash budget. Now we're going to go on to the budget for cost of goods manufactured. Obviously, this seems like an awfully long process, but if we break it down to the pieces, it's really not so bad. When we look at it all as a whole, it could look quite intimidating. All right, so we're going to start off with the raw materials. Now, remember, there's three pieces to the cost of goods manufactured, what goes into our inventory process, raw materials, labor, and overhead. So we're going to start off with the raw material. Now I'm going to start off with the raw materials inventory at the beginning of the time period. So we're going to start off with raw materials at the beginning of the time period. We're going to get that from our balance sheet up top. So if we take a look at the balance sheet, we have raw materials 98,500, 98,500. Then we're going to add to that the raw materials that were purchased. So raw materials purchased, I'm going to select tab, we're going to select equals, and we're going to go up to the raw materials budget where we have that information. So we're going to scroll up to the raw materials here. And if we go to the bottom of this item, we can see that for the quarter, we have the total purchases of the $611,474. So that's what we're going to have. That's what we purchased. Then we're going to subtract from that the raw material at the end. The raw material is still in there. Note that this is very similar to our cost of goods sold calculation for like a man, for a company that sells inventory, basically. So less raw material inventory at the end, ending raw material inventory. We're going to select equals. We're going to go back up to our raw materials up top. So we're looking for where we calculated the raw materials. Here it is, part number three. And you can see that here we have the ending inventory, materials purchase, materials price, uh, here's the budgeted ending inventory, 4,000 units. So I'm going to take that 4,000, that's in units though, and we're going to multiply that times the cost per unit, which is of course this $21. That's how much the raw materials cost per unit. Therefore, we're going to come up with the 84,000, and that will give us the direct materials that will be used. So we have direct material used. I'm going to pull that out to the outside, and it's going to equal, remember, it's going to equal what we started with plus what we purchased minus the ending inventory that's what we use what we had plus what we purchased minus what's still there is what we have uh, used in the process of manufacturing as part of our inventory now included in that we also have direct labor which is a lot more easy uh, and straightforward we're going to put that right in the outer column we're not going to have to do this type of calculation in order to get that that's why we'll put it right in the outer column and that's going to equal, I'm going to go up to the labor budget up here where we figured out the direct labor. And we have the $425.99. That's the labor that is included in our inventory. Then we're going to have the factory overhead. Factory overhead. And that's going to have a variable portion. And a fixed portion. I'll just put those both in here now. Fixed portion. And we're going to go to our overhead budget. These are going to be, once again, pretty straightforward because these will be what, the, the, it'll be what they are. We're not going to have to do the calculation again like this in the raw materials. We've already done that in our budget up top. So let's go up to the overhead budget. So here's our overhead. Here's the variable portion. We're going to pick up that uh, 78,000. And that's going to go into the inventory. The, the overhead that we couldn't put into a bucket is going to go into the inventory. Then we're going to have the fixed portion. That was, remember, the depreciation. So we're going to go up to the overhead, the fixed portion, 63000 And that is that. 